Hey, it's David Ono with Worldwide Bookkeeping. Um, I've done a couple of previous videos here uh, about QuickBooks Online, and if you have to manually import um, either a QBO file or CSV file into QuickBooks Online to get your bank transactions in there. Um, and I did a previous video where we looked at um, how we exported a CSV file and the date, the amount, and the description were all in the same cell. I showed you how to separate those values into their own individual cells. Um, and I did want to show you um, there are a couple of other issues here. Um, if I were to take the uh, spreadsheet that you see here, this is for a credit card. Uh, if I were to import that into QuickBooks, we're going to run into a couple of issues. and I just want to point those out real quick. Um, the first thing that jumps out is this uh, dollar amount here. This is a negative $6,003.84. Okay, we can see that with the parentheses. However, when you import that into QuickBooks, they don't read that as, uh, it will not read it as a negative number. It would put that as a positive. So what we actually have to do here um, is change the formatting of the number. And you can do that instead of going with the parentheses, you can do the negative here. Okay, so that's going to change it. That does change it for a sec. Took a second. Um, okay, so we've got a negative there, so that's good. We've changed. Um, we've changed it to an actual negative number. Now the other thing is, I, I mentioned this is for a credit card. If you would um, upload this list in this spreadsheet, um, it's actually going to do something weird with a credit card because it's a credit card. Um, see all of these expenses. Um, these are charges on the credit card. Now if you upload the list it's actually going to show, um, it would show that the credit card received 86.58. It received 22.09. Um, and then the charge on the credit card down here would be on a negative number, $6,003. So it's actually supposed to be reversed, right? Um, this, for the, in terms of the business, that's, that's money going out. So what we actually have to do is we have to somehow get all of these numbers here to be the opposite. Now you could come in and you could manually go through it, but um, there are some faster ways. Now I'm using um, an online version of Microsoft Excel. Um, so the first option I was going to show you is only if you have desktop Excel. Um, this function is not available online. You could do a copy and paste special. There's a way you can actually um, select all of these um, amounts here and you can multiply them by negative one. Um, so it, it would flip every single sign here, whether it's positive or negative. And to do that, um, if we're just pretend that I'm on desktop Excel, you would come in, you would copy, copy the negative one, and then you would select all of these transactions, all the dollar amounts. Um, and you could, if you're on on desktop, you do have, um, it's called Paste Special. Um, and if you did, if you look at Paste Special, um, there's an option in there um, that's, you would select Multiply. So you're copying and pasting it. Um, you're telling Excel to multiply all of these dollar amounts by negative one, which was the number that we copied. Okay, we don't have Paste Special here online. So what are we, what are we out of luck? No, you can actually do something else. You can, um, essentially, we're going to make a second column for the amount, and we are going to, we're going to take this column, um, we're going to cut it, and we'll just paste it over here so you can see that dollar amount is still here. Now what we're going to do, we'll get rid of this column, and we're going to do, we're going to make this equals this sign times negative, we should make it times negative one. Okay, you'd want to go through here, copy and paste. And you'd have to go through and actually do the thing where you format it to show a negative sign here, uh, much like we did over on this. But now you'd be ready to upload.
the spreadsheet. So anyway, that's how you can get this to agree um, because some people I, I've talked with, they try to upload and then they say, wait a minute, all the everything that I spent money on, it's making my balance uh, in my bank account go higher or on the credit card. It's making the credit card go lower. And that's how you do that. You would have to look and make sure you may have to go back through your spreadsheet and flip the uh, the positive or negative for a dollar amount. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Again, let me know if you've got any uh, QuickBooks online questions, uh, QuickBooks desktop also, um, or any other bookkeeping question. Um, and I'd love to help uh, answer that question for you. Thank you. I'll see you on the next video.